guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. For this video, I'm going to be showing you how to shower with your bird, so let's get started. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already for more bird-related content, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. So showering with your bird is a wonderful bonding experience, and I highly recommend it to parrot owners, but it's not something that you can just jump into, especially if your bird has never showered with you before, and if they they're not familiar with the bathroom because birds are of course scared of new environments. So the first thing that you may have to do if this situation applies to you is introduce your bird to the bathroom. They're going to need to get used to the sounds of the water coming out of the shower head, even the sink and the sounds of the toilet flushing. So if your bird has never been in the bathroom before, then you're going to start taking them to the bathroom with you whenever you have to go. And you can also have someone else that you live with take the bird to the bathroom with them when they need to go. That way they're exposed to the bathroom a bunch of times throughout the day for a couple minutes. And when your bird gets used to going to the bathroom with you and you see that they're comfortable being in the bathroom, whenever your bird wants to bathe, you're going to start bathing them however they like, but in the bathroom. So if they prefer bathing in a bowl of wet leafy greens or in a shallow dish or their water bowl or even in your hands or in the sink, you're gonna do all of that in the bathroom. So you can start doing it in the bathroom sink at first and then you can slowly move on to the bathtub and use the water coming from the faucet in your tub or even the shower head but you don't want it to be too harsh you want it to trickle a little bit so that the pressure isn't too much for your birds that way your bird can start associating the bathroom as another place to take a bath and as your bird gets used to the new bathing space depending on how comfortable they are bathing in the bathroom you can then start showering with them so you can of course get a shower curtain if you'd like. It's really great because it suctions to the walls of your shower and it also has a sandy perch so that your birds can get a really good grip. You can get that if you like. Another alternative is if you have a window in your shower, you can use a window ledge and have your birds sit there. Or what I like to do is shower my birds on my hand or my arms and then I will place them either on the curtain rod or the shower hose when they are done. When you are ready to shower with your bird, you're going to turn the water on and make sure that the water isn't too hot because you are going to be showering it in a two and you also want it to be comfortable for your bird. And then you can jump in. You can either shower really fast at first or if your birds seem like they're really eager to shower, you can have them shower first. That way you can avoid getting any soap on them because soap isn't good for their skin or their feathers and it could wash off the natural oils in their feathers so if you do accidentally get soap on them just rinse it off as soon as you can one thing you never want to do is place the water directly over your birds especially if you have smaller birds because that water pressure isn't going to be comfortable for them so you want to avoid that because you can ruin the whole showering experience if you place them directly under the water and they don't like it and there's a chance that they could accidentally breathe in a lot of that water because the pressure is really strong. You can usually tell if they get water in their nose or their nares if they are violently shaking their head while also trying to blow the water out of their nares or their nose holes. So what you do want to do is mist your bird, similar to how if your bird likes to shower with a spray bottle. So you're going to place your bird on the shower perch or on your hand or your arm or on the window ledge and what you're going to do is you want the water to bounce off of a surface before it hits your bird. That way the water bouncing off of the surface is going to be light and misty instead of it being directly on them. So you can bounce the water off of the wall or what I like to do is bounce the water off of my body so it's going to provide a rain-like experience and it's something that your birds will absolutely love. Every bird is different and they're going to show signs of happiness or enjoyment in several different ways and you of course know your birds best but usually if they are singing or chirping or purring or just making their happy sounds in the shower or flapping their wings and dancing, even fluffed up feathers and they seem super relaxed or they're shaking their feathers like they normally do when they're bathing and even going towards the water because they want more of the mist. And of course, there are some birds that may not like the whole showering experience. And again, you know your birds best, but usually if they aren't enjoying it or if they don't want to shower with you, they'll obviously fly away to get away from the water or if they're pacing back in forth and they're trying to move away from the water. Their feathers are slick 
legs back and it's tight against their body and they're moving really fast trying to get away from the water. Really obvious sign is if they're making their I'm scared chirp, which is usually very high pitched and distinct. Be mindful of your bird's body language because they will tell you if they are enjoying the experience. And if they don't like to shower with you, it's completely okay because you never want to force your bird to do something that they don't like. And of course, you always want to continue letting your bird shower however they like because the whole shower experience isn't replacing their normal bathing routine. It's just another bonding experience that you can add to your routine. Even if your birds don't want to shower with you, you can still bring them into the bathroom with you because the humidity from the shower is going to be really great for their feathers, skin, and their respiratory systems. And they'll really enjoy spending more time with you as well. In terms of how long to shower with your bird, I usually let them shower for about five minutes and then I'll place them down so I don't waste too much water and so that I can shower too. And of course, you never want to blow dry your bird afterwards because in the wild, they don't have blow dryers. So you want them to dry off naturally in a warm room. And also don't place your bird near any drafts because that can cause them to get sick and you wanna make sure you give them enough time to dry off before bedtime because they can also get sick if they go to bed wet. Like this video if you found it helpful and also comment down below and let me know if you shower with your birds or if you are going to try showering with your birds. And of course, thank you guys so much for over 200 subscribers. And I can't believe there's over 200 of you that like our videos and I'm super grateful for you guys. And it makes me super happy. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next one.